Hello, welcome to the first ever episode of the Fanic America New Robot Setup Series. I'm your host, John Baldinger. In this setup series, we're going to show you just how easy it is to set up a new robot from scratch. In this episode, we're going to cover the unboxing, what to expect, and things to remember to make your setup experience smooth sailing. Let's get started, shall we? Cue the intro. All FANUC robots come on skids with provisions to transport with properly rated equipment. In this case, we have fork pockets, so I'll be using a pallet jack. Once we have the skid where we want it, it's time to start the unboxing. We're going to start off by removing the plastic clips that hold the box to the crate. Now that the box is removed, I'll have to remove all of this packaging. Next, we'll cut away the straps and remove all of the packaging on the skid. We'll remove the packaging from the robot, being careful not to cut it with the knife. Okay, so we've just finished removing the packaging, and here is our skid. We've got our LRMate 200ID here, the mechanical unit. We've got our teach pendant and accessory box. I'm gonna set this off to the side for now. We've got some desiccants in there, which are meant to keep things dry during shipment. We can get rid of these. Uh, there's a packing list. And uh, also, depending on your configuration, the software options that you ordered, you may have an option box. This box will include any hardware that's necessary for your configuration. And it will also include your software configuration data sheet with your core software USB stick. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by uh, opening up this controller box and seeing what's inside. The packaging has been removed from our controller box and as you can see here we have the R30IB Mate robot controller. In here we have cables. We have the robot connector cable. This plugs into the back of the robot. We have the teach pendant connector cable that plugs into the teach pendant. And then we have the robot ground cable, which there's a little eye hook here that will bolt to the back of the robot. Now I'm gonna uh, secure these cables on top of the controller because our next step is to get the controller out of the box. For that, we'll be using a hoist to hook onto these two eye bolts and we'll pull it up out of the box and set it somewhere convenient. Please refer to the quick start guide for more information on transporting the robot and controller. Okay, so now we're back at the skid. Uh, we've got our robot here, but I'm gonna save that for last. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to uh, unbox the teach pendant and accessory box. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Got some packaging. Handy uh, quick start guide, which is now being included with all FANUC LR8 models. It's got some, some quick instructions on how to unpack and install your controller. Here we have the controller and uh, robot transport, applying power, and there's even some, some basic teach pendant functions and some of the required uh, setup steps. Here we have our robot data sheet. It's very important to hold on to this robot data sheet because it has your master counts. Um, if you reinstall your core software, then your master counts are lost, and you can recover your mastering by re-entering these values. So again, very important to hold on to that. Next, we have the teach pendant. This is your primary interface with your robot. Now here we have our accessory bag. Um, in here, I'm not sure if you can see those, but we have spare fuses. Um, there are also some, some small electrical terminal tools that you can use to, to wire your safeties. Uh, without having to, to jam a screwdriver in there. Um, here we have a I.O. connector. And here is the robot EE connector. The last step of our unboxing is to remove the robot from the skid. The mechanical unit is held down with two nuts here and two nuts here. We're going to be removing them with an adjustable wrench. At this point, I would recommend a helper. 
someone to operate the hoist while you watch and make sure that the robot comes off the skid smoothly. Thanks for watching. In our next episode, we're going to cover controller installation, robot mechanical unit installation, connecting controller power, and loading software. So it's a lot to cover. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.